What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm in Centerville, Virginia at a friend's house and I'm going to give you guys a garden tour of what he got in his garden. So let's go. Alright, so we're going to begin in the front of the house and then we're going to walk into the back of the yard. This is the front of his house. Right here, he got some nice beautiful flower right here. I think these are impatient flowers. So this thing is that it have this beautiful night purple flowers or pink and they're different color of flowers as well and it after the flowers bloom it go into pot like this and when you hit the pot it just kind of pop like this and the seed will go everywhere so basically this thing will come back every year because the seeds drop down and then it just sprout back up next year and here in the center all right we got some plant going by right now so let's wait after that all right, so here in the center is he got a jujube tree. I'm not sure what kind of variety this is, but there's some fruit on it already. All right, so let's walk in front of the house. And as in front of the house, he got some nice row of flowers right there as well. I'm not a flower guy, so I don't know much about flowers. And here you can see he got a mango in a pot right here nice looking mango right here and then some Vietnamese herbs some crab uh, vegetable and that is the blackberries that I gave him and here he have this giant bush of blueberries right here and it's already done already the season is already gone you have picked it all already and if you guys see my last video there is the Russian Salavaski pomegranate. Look how many fruits are there on that tree. That is loaded with fruit and the flower is still pushing out up there on top as well. Look at this tree. This tree is like doing amazingly well. And this is a clone that I gave it to him. Look at that. Let's check out the trunk, how thick this trunk is. Oh, man, look how big this thing is. Alright, so let's walk over to this side and get into the backyard to see what he got. So over here the side, he got some green onion in a pot some more impatient flowers and on the side of the house look at a beautiful green lush these are some hot peppers right here I don't know what kind of variety this is because I don't do peppers and this is some I think some Thai hot peppers right here look at this beautiful tree lotus with uh, peppers right now and he got some gourd vine. Let's see what kind of type is this. Oh, that is butter squash. Nice. Got some butter squash going on right here. And then more peppers. And he got some cherry tomatoes. That's crawling around down here. That needs to be staked up. <laughs> but look at this beautiful cherry tomatoes. And then in the back, Here's a bush of um, elephant ears. This is bakha, so you can eat this thing, right? So basically what the Vietnamese does is that we cut the stem, this stem, and then um, you peel up the skin out here and then you cook it with soup. So basically you eat like um, the sour, sweet um, fish soup. So that's what you put it in. And then over here, he got another jujube tree right here. Um, this is like a wild jujube tree that he got and then this giant persimmon tree right here and it is loaded with fruits right now look at those fruits like massive fruits and the tree is hanging down because of all this fruit all right let's walk into the backyard
So here in the backyard, he got a lot of raised bed and he have a massive backyard as well. All right. So right here in this corner is some tomatoes. Nice, big, juicy tomatoes right here. And then this is um, the pineapple guava. I gave him to this plant and it's doing really great. And this pineapple guava supposed to be cold tolerant in zone seven. So you guys want to try some, uh, grow some guava, um, check those out. And then that is a giant massive peach tree. And there's a greenhouse that I put together with him last year. And there's a video of that if you guys haven't seen it. And that greenhouse is doing great right now. And on the left, if we see this raised bed, this is a sweet potato right here. So we Asian people, we like to eat um, sweet potato leaves. So this is a great substitute for spinach and it's do really well in the heat. So all you do is you cut this leaf like this and then you saute it or you um, boil it. And sweet potato is a um, part of the morning glory family. So it's safe to eat uh, once it cooked. And he got more peppers down here. I think these are um, sweet Korean peppers. Nice, beautiful pepper right here. And then we have some kind of gourd or pumpkin vine that's going around right here. And a big, nice Malabar spinach. Um, this thing is a Vietnamese Asian spinach is what we eat. And this thing is really slimy. And this thing does really well in the heat. It loves the heat. If you guys want to try a substitute for American spinach, uh, check that out. And there's more tomatoes over here. A nice clump right here. Ripened tomatoes. All right here, so the vine is some kind of melon right here. I'm not sure what that is. So much tomatoes. And then it, that is a fig tree that um, pretty much died back from this winter and then it's coming back. And over here is a green raised bed. And I'm not sure what this is. I think there's another spinach malabar type. And it got kales going on in this bed in the hot heat of the summer that's still going. And then some herbs, some more, what is it, gore? This is like a je trellis for the gore to climb on. And then over there, we got some pak choy going. Look how big and massive this thing are. How big this leaf is. So pak choy, you want to grow this in the shade, right? And it will produce really well throughout the summer. Look at that. So this thing is pretty much shaded up here. And that's why it's growing and it's not bolting yet. All right. And then over here is more herbs. Um, these are chai beds. And then I'm not sure what this um, in thing called in English, but you eat this, um, this is dog gun. So you uh, saute it with beef and it tastes really great. You got chives going into flowers. And then this is the bitter melon trellis. Oh, look at this beautiful bitter melon. Look at this. How big this is. I'm trying to test out my bitter melon too, but it's not working out because my soil is not productive yet. And I was just putting it in. Look at this giant bitter melon. Man. This is huge. A beautiful bitter melon trellis. And here's some more bitter melon over here as well. Look at this. This is a different kind. I think this is the Indian type. Oh, I've got some slug going on over here. And then back here, we've got some more peppers. And I forgot what this thing is. 
and more vegetable um rau cang cua i think it's like direct translation is like crab um vegetable and over here as well more this vietnamese um vegetable more peppers he love peppers so he grow a lot of peppers all right so let's walk over that side and see what's over there and over there there's more raised bed and this section pretty much like half part shade and he got a eucalyptic tree going on here look how nicely this thing is how big this thing is and he got melon or gore that's going on here that's running and producing and the issue here in Centerville is that he got groundhog issue so you can see here all this leaf it got munched off because he's been battling with groundhogs all year long basically like many years now so he haven't got rid of it yet and back here is a, a lot of kale beds mixed with um the crab vegetable more beds more peppers and look at this this is lemongrass and that i think that is the um, hibiscus plant no actually raspberry it looks like hibiscus but this is raspberry plant that he put in a pot and it got some aloe vera going on in the pot as well and this is the kumquat let's see what type is this look at how much fruit there are this is the elongated one um nagami kumquat uh, let's pan to this bed right here um this is the water spinach the chinese water spinach we asian we love this thing because it tastes so good and more crabs uh vegetable and that is what is this lavender i need to get some lavender in my plant too all right so over the left we got some okra going on that's growing nice beautiful healthy giant okra pushing out flowers look at the beautiful flowers right there look how beautiful that okra flower is it doesn't even look like a fruit tree or a plant And then in there, he got some quail in there, in the greenhouse, and he ventilate everything in there. So he keep his quail in, the, in there in the winter as well. So that way the egg production will still continue. And we got some, I think this is Maya lemon right here. This thing is huge. This is lush. And we got some basil and more tomatoes on this bed and okwas and this lemon tree that he dearly loved he thought it died so basically it died all the way back from last year and now it's coming back out um it's kind of reviving right now and we got more lavender and this bed i love this bed look at this bed it's all full of greens and plants we have green onions going on and we have some like um chinese spinach and then got some lemongrass in there as well and in the back got more raised bed okra more kales and um chinese spinach and then another lemon tree over here i think there's a lemon tree and it got some banana in the back musa bashu that the clone I gave him and over here another tomato bed and then we pan over here there's some kind of gore or squash that's going on and more jujube tree I'm not sure what variety this is either that he's got and over there is the fig tree that got a lot of produce a lot of figs too right here look at this figs coming in 
And over here, he have another GGB tree as well. And look at that beautiful trellis of melons. We got so many melons. And this is your gang in Vietnamese. Um, I think it's English is must melon. Let's check this out. Holy smoke. Look how many he got. It's like one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, like 10 of this melon hanging down. It's like everywhere. Oh, I gotta go with some of this next year. And over here too, another Travis bed. Um, I think there's more gourd over here. Yeah, more marshmallow over this side. And it is it, a uh, chive bed. Look at this chives. Beautiful, healthy chives. And that is the... What is it? Flying dragon right here that I gave him. There's the white orange right here. So they will survive down to like zone five, I think. And over this side is another blueberry bush. That's a lemon type. And then there's some fakes down there. And I think there's a kumquat. What is it? What is it? Oh, Calamon deer. Calamon deer bush. Look beautiful. And this is the muscadine bush that I gave him. Um, this thing is massive right now. And let's see if there's any fruit down here. Oh, there are fruits. Look how massive. Look how much. Grapes, they are under here. So here, there's what the backyard look like. Alright guys, so that is a tour of my friend house in Centerville, Northern Virginia. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like and the subscribe button. And put a comment down below. And I will see you guys on the next video.